how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you some hidden features and settings that every samsung galaxy user needs to know about these tips and tricks will surely help you get the best out of your samsung phone so make sure you watch this video until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let me show you a simple but very effective trick that can save a lot of your time we all take screenshots regularly on our phones and sometimes it gets really difficult to find a particular screenshot which you're looking for so to avoid such situations what you can do is whenever you take a screenshot you see we have got this hashtag icon right at the bottom simply tap on it and it opens a pop-up menu where it shows all the generated tags related to that screenshot but the best part is you can also add your own tags for your convenience so just add a couple of tags which you can remember later on once done now whenever you're looking for a screenshot simply click on the search icon and here you simply type that specific tag that you have used at that time this way you can easily find your screenshot a lot quicker and it does save your time as well the best part is you can also add tags for other images in your gallery and not just screenshots Simply select the image, swipe up and you see we've got the add tags option. Click on it and add as many tags you want. I think this is the smartest way to manage thousands of pictures you have inside your phone's gallery. As we all know, Samsung phones have a lot of AI features and most of them are extremely useful and way better compared to iOS or other smartphone UI. Guys, there is one hidden useful AI feature which I'm sure not many of you know about. If you go into settings, advanced features, and then go inside labs here we get this new labs feature that's been added with the one ui 6.1.1 and it's called suggested replies this new addition uses ai to suggest replies to your messages you receive on your phone you know what the best part is it even works for whatsapp messages as well so when you receive any message on whatsapp ai will suggest you a bunch of responses which you can send by just a single tap this feature works only when you're using the default Samsung keyboard on your phone and it won't work if you're using Gboard or any other third-party keyboard application from the Play Store. It actually works quite well most of the time and gives you a very accurate response which you can directly send without any changes. So if you have already received the One UI 6.1.1 update, then I'll suggest you to turn on this feature by going into the Labs option. There is another new feature I have found inside the Advanced options. If I go into the phone settings, advanced features, here when you scroll down, you get game booster settings and when you go inside, we get this option called customizations for individual games and when you select that, it will show you the list of games you have installed on your phone. Just tap on any game that you want to configure and here you can see there are four different options, game optimization, FPS, screen resolution and frame booster. So it's a brand new feature that lets you adjust some really important game related settings for each game individually. Game optimization has three modes and depending on the requirement for that specific game, you can set it to performance, balanced or battery saver. So every time when you open the game, it will automatically adjust the mode based on your selection. Then we have got FPS and it lets you adjust the FPS for each and every game on your phone. You can also change the screen resolution and enable or disable the frame booster mode as well. So these are some really important game related settings which now you can configure based on a specific game as per the requirement. Guys, it's a new hidden feature that I recently came across and if you're unable to find this on your phone, then just wait for the software update, you'll get it really really soon. Did you know anyone can power off your phone by just holding the side button? Now imagine your phone got stolen. The first thing that he's gonna do is simply turn off your device and then obviously it's gonna be really difficult for you to find your missing phone. Now to be on a safer side, I'll suggest you to enable this important setting right now. Just go to lock screen and AOD, select secure lock settings, it will ask you to enter your pin. Here you will get some additional settings and the one which you need to turn on is the local network and security. Once that is done, now if someone tries to power off your phone, it's gonna ask to enter the pin first. Not only that, even if he tries to power off your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth toggle, he needs to enter the pin first. I think it's a really important setting that every Samsung user should enable right now on your smartphone. Now one of the most commonly used widgets that you can find on any Android home screen is this Google search bar. But did you know even this is super customizable. All you have to do is just open the Google app, tap on your profile picture, go to settings and then click on this option called customize search widget. From here you can customize the widget theme and there are options such as light, dark, 
and the device theme follows the material design then finally you can select custom and change the color as per the wallpaper not only this you can also add a shortcut to the search bar we have got translate button song search weather sports dictionary and more so there are a lot of customizations and you can completely change the way how the search bar looks on your home screen next there is another useful setting which i noticed not many samsung users have enabled on their galaxy phones and this particular setting will further enhance your experience while watching content on your device Again go into advanced features scroll down and select video brightness it is set to normal by default you can change that to bright and what it basically does is increase the screen brightness and make colors more vibrant when you watch videos on your phone the best part is that this feature supports most of the media streaming apps you have installed on your phone this might consume a bit more battery but if you want a better viewing experience then i'll suggest you to go ahead and enable this feature So the next useful trick is related to the S Pen and one of my favorite things is that you can start writing your notes or anything important right away without having to unlock your phone but instead of saving the notes you can actually pin it by clicking on this icon and that note will always show up on your always on display until you click on the delete button this makes it a lot easier to remember anything as it shows right on your AOD every time when you pick up your phone again a very useful feature not many of you know about That's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for every Samsung Galaxy user. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.